called home for the last four years, but all good things come to an end. Well, if you look around any, you'll notice that it's pretty empty in here. Everything's all condensed together. That's because we're getting out of here. We're moving out of this shop onto the next thing. We do have a new spot we're going to be going to. We'll actually go there later in the video. This is uh, one of the last times we'll be here in the shop. Everything is all packed up. I was actually very surprised how condensed all my stuff is when it's all together. I thought I'd be making a lot more trips. I think we'll be all right. We'd probably get this in one trip with a box truck. The CJ is definitely pulling its weight. It is packed full of parts all CJ related stuff. That'll be the main project once we get moved into our new shop. I was hoping to drive this thing out of here like I said in the CJ video, but the machine work has just been taking a while for the engine block. We got Evan coming in clutch with the gooseneck so we can get the CJ out of here loaded up on the flatbed. Now there's definitely some pros and cons that are going on. For one, the new shop, it's not near as big as this one. Well, it's about half. So about this divider and looking back, pretty much everything you see on the screen, that's about the size of the new shop. And the ceiling is a little bit lower, so it'll feel a little bit smaller too. Which, honestly, is not that bad because square footage wise, I'm probably getting about the same amount of shop. Since I'm used to splitting it right up the middle with my dad, I always had this whole bay and he had the other bay. But now, I'll have something this size all to myself. Another good thing is our house and shop are right next to each other. So we're also moving out of our house too, along with all the shop stuff. So we got a pretty big move coming this weekend. So just for reference, you guys know the driveway, which I will miss ripping up that driveway. <laughs> pretty much right up here through the woods is where our house is. And I always just had a short little drive to the shop here. It's bittersweet, but it's just a new chapter. We are losing this shop, but it's not like we don't have another one to go to. So thankful for that. Goodbye shop. That won't be the official last appearance. Well, obviously we still have to move the CJ, but dad's gonna be working on his Humvee, um, getting that thing ready for the road. So I'm gonna be coming back to the shop to help him with all that stuff. But this is pretty much it. Rip up the driveway, heading back over to the old shop now. Me and John got most everything moved yesterday. Uh, all we got left today is the CJ. So Evan's coming over with the gooseneck and we'll get her loaded up, take it over to the new shop. And it would appear I have beat him here. Yeah. This is weird seeing it all empty. We got it all moved, just the CJ and the vet. Probably gonna throw a couple straps over here. The top is just setting on there, so we'll have to throw a strap over there too. I hope he has a winch on this trailer because it might be a little bit heavy. We'll see. Now we're just waiting on Evan. We'll push it out for him. Push. That's good. Look who decided to show. Oh, hey, bud. Oh, hey, bud. You're late. Sorry. I'm playing on time change. Oh, we do got a winch. Yeah, we do. Noise. Bring it. Thanks, bud. You got it, bud. Winch check. <laughs> We're going to have to jump it. I'm going to pass just jumping it with that. That's what made it go. File. That'll do. That'll do. Man, good thing it's a Jeep. Thing is steep. Hey, that rhymed. Jeep, good thing. Jeep, good thing. <laughs> It's pretty legit. Oh yeah, you need this. Oh yeah, a winch remote. Wrong way! <laughs> you just wanna leave the winch hooked up? Do this. Yeah. Strap it on! He ain't going nowhere. Looks good, bud. Yeah, bud. Rolling it. Here we go. We had to put a bunch of straps on it. The hood wasn't secure. The top's not secure, it's just sitting on there, and then all the stuff in the back. Threw a couple straps around the axle just to make sure, and we kept the winch hooked up, so it's not going nowhere. Even though it's not under its own power, it's still pretty cool to see it on the road. Get me excited. I'm excited.
at our home, bud. Yep, I just... All right, plan is it's a little bit uphill or downhill, whatever. So we got to free spool it, push the Jeep back till we hit the ramps, and then we'll winch it down from there. Okay. I should get my good side. All right, here we go. the brake works. Okay, That's where you sure is. Oh, we're down, bud. What do you think about that? Uh, good. Down on the ground. We're going to get it tucked away in its new home, and then I'm going to clean up a little bit, get some stuff organized, then I'll uh, show you around a little bit more. Welcome to the new shop. Here's what we're working with. I got everything put away, cleaned up, organized, completely moved in, so we can start uh, working on projects like the CJ tucked away in its new home still waiting on machine work though I'm kind of glad it's taking a little bit longer than expected. We got a lot going on but here. It is Ceilings a little bit lower like I said I need to get some more of these lights I brought this one from the old shop and it's a lot warmer light these white LEDs kind of I don't like how they light it up So this is where the CJ is gonna live got plenty of room to work around it plenty of room in the other bay to pull something else in tons of cabinets CJ stuff in here sprays and such nuts and bolts and junk drawer i did get a new box this thing's sweet i got it all loaded down sockets ratchets breaker bar torque wrench we got screwdrivers wrenches finally bought flex head ratchet wrenches after needing them for a long time pliers picks pry bars or here's the pry bars hammers grinder dremel such and then all my kits down here a little bit of a junk drawer, pens, gloves, and then all the power tools. Pretty sweet. I'm really happy with it. So I got my old toolbox. I got it all condensed into here, plus some extra, and still have a little bit of room in there. Two workbenches against the wall. Looking good. Detailing cabinet. Makes stuff look shiny. Nice and close to the garage door. That's pretty much it over here in the main work bay. There's not a lot of stuff sitting out, which I like. That's because over here, there's this other room, which we are gonna to refer to as the engine room, and it's got tons of cabinet space. Over here, got the parts washer, engine stand, got a four liter engine room. This is where the 304 is gonna live when it gets home. Beer fridge, old toolbox, which I filled up with things like electrical stuff, bulbs and fuses, just a lot of specialty tools in here, and things of that nature, engine tools, more kits. This toolbox is just full of RTV and random stuff, but it's organized. I know where it's at anyway. Gaskets, lubes, America, and all the cabinets. Right now there's just stuff with uh, 304 parts, new and old that we're gonna be reusing. Top and bottom, full of stuff. These back cabinets, I have brand new parts that aren't even on anything yet. Just sitting ready to be installed. Put all my oils and stuff in here. Tons of room, tons of room. Shop list, appropriate signage, and then the rolling workbench over here building the engine thinking chair pretty much it we put a bunch of household stuff in these cabinets yeah the shop's smaller but at least it's all mine and so far i actually like it better i just like how it's laid out i like how everything fits i'm liking the new toolbox all the storage space it's also well insulated in here so my one little space heater will easily warm it up in here haven't even had to turn it on yet so that's good soon enough we'll be wrenching on the cj it is the end of an era the vet's gone we're out of the old shop but i'm excited for this shop hope you guys are too and all the projects are going to be coming out of here that will wrap it up for this one though Hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy. See you in the next one. After reviewing some of that footage, we're definitely gonna have to do something about this lighting. I can uh, I can see it's messing with the camera a little bit, so I'll fix it. I'll fix it later. <laughs>